Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 83 Rocker. Hey, Trudy True. Welcome to 5 a.m. What's going on with my curls this morning? Welcome to 5 a.m. Wake and Breakthrough. I'm your host, Nikita Thickpin. Good morning, Natu D. Oh, Trudy, it's so good to see your face this morning. How are you doing, Mama? You good? I feel like I haven't talked to you via text, email, phone, or anything in at least a week. So good morning, Gypsy Queen for love. Oh, I love that. Gypsy Queen for love. That's awesome. For those of you who do not know who I am, and this is your first time joining me on Periscope, my name is Nikita Thickpen. I'm a women's executive balance advisor, helping everyone to infuse, to, and look at me, I can't talk, to increase focus, infuse balance, and break through the barriers that are preventing them. Awesome, Trudy, thank you. You see me? I don't have all my cinnamon and nutmeg and stuff in my tea this morning, which is crazy. Hey, Marguerite. Marguerite, are you running this week with all the craziness that's happening in good old Philadelphia. Good morning, Luanda. I am very, very happy to see you here this morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, Joyce, good morning. Hey, sister. Hey, Chantel. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm happy. I'm so cold this morning, so I feel like a little thrown off because I don't do well after like nine o'clock at night and I do, don't do well when I'm cold. I want to work out today. I don't want to work out today, but I must. Yes, do it, just do it, Nike, just do it, hashtag just do it, that's going to be the slogan for the day, just do it, Marguerite, whatever it is you have to do, even if you can't do your run, which I hope you can, of course, run around in your house, wake up your husband and your kid, they don't, he don't care, he, you know, they ain't thinking about you, they know you special, it's all right, <laughs> um, but hopefully you definitely hit the asphalt if that's your, your actual workout today. Thank you, Joyce, for sharing. I appreciate that. For all of you who don't know, if you're on an Android, swipe up. If you're on an iOS, swipe right. So you can invite other people, share on Twitter, or share the link to someone specific. You can only share the link to a specific Periscope, though. You can't share it to, like, all of Periscope. That's just not how Periscope works. They have to download the app and then follow at Thig Pro if they want to kind of get the notifications the way you guys do that I'm on. I'm excited to be here this morning. This is going to be an awesome day. I have Balance Beam Podcast set up early this morning. I get to see my cousin this afternoon. I have an amazing Skype call that I'm looking forward to so much. I'm so excited about this call this morning at 1130. This man is a genius and I'm very excited that my network knows him and they've connected us together. It's awesome. Awesome, good stuff. So it'll be a full day, but an awesome day nonetheless. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully you guys, oh, thank you for the heart love. Color, color in my life at 5 a.m. is awesome. Thank you for tapping your screen and sharing love. Just keep doing it if you love what you're hearing. Um, this is exciting for me. I love color. So if you read the subject for today, because I know reading is fundamental and we're all so intelligent, but most of us just click. We don't even read anything. We see the hearts and that's it. We're in the hearts and the flowers and anything else that's in my my name. And y'all just click on. I know you don't pay attention to the time that I put into these titles, but it's okay. So today is all about reworking your network by reconnecting. Does anybody know what that means? reworking your network by reconnecting well i will tell you because it's early in the morning and you probably don't feel like typing in questions that's okay too it's important we always we hear you know be mindful of the the five people that you keep around you the most influential people your circle of influence those who you influence the most those who influence you the circle you keep is the circle you attract we hear all these things all the time but what about the people who have always been there that you lost track of just because of life. You got busy. You were very productive. I'm careful with that word busy. Busy doesn't always necessarily mean productive. But life was happening. Business, professions, careers, husbands, wives, babies, pets, caring for another generation this way or that way, whatever was happening, you just got busy. And life really just took over. So you lost track with your favorite first cousin that you used to see all the time and now you only see at wedding, weddings and funerals or which was a reflection of me this week with my uncle's funeral on Monday. I got to see family who I love, love. I mean like make me smile from the inside out love. We just got busy. We haven't seen each other in years and it's horrible to come together 
at a funeral. It's great to come together at a wedding, but it's horrible to come together for that. And it's, it's actually horrible. It's not like someone gets married every six months or once a year either. Family's not that. We're huge, but we're not that huge. And we lose track of people all the time. And then we're so busy saying, and we say it all the time. I've heard myself say it. I don't know who I would talk to about that. I don't know who I would call about that. I don't know if I have someone to go to about that. But you really may have someone already in your network, whether family, friend, a former neighbor from an old neighborhood you used to live at, a former coworker where y'all were like super, super cool three jobs ago, three careers ago, three businesses ago. There's always that person or persons that we just lost track of. So maybe you can rework your network by reconnecting with those you care about, love, and trust. Now, I'm not talking about the people who were special. And we talked about those people before. Hey, good morning, Diane. We talked about those people who are five-minute people that you kept along for hour-long conversations that you definitely, they their season expired. Hey, sister. My sister Frances is here. Boop, boop. She almost a grown woman. In two years, she'd be 30. That's awesome. <laughs> But those people that you purposely, you know, your season had passed. I'm not talking about the expired relationships that if they would have stayed in your life, it would have become toxic or more toxic. Not talking about those people. I'm talking about really good people. Again, family, friend, neighbor, professional, peer, someone that was just really cool, used to have coffee with all the time. But because you guys changed positions or shifts or neighborhoods or states, you lost track. You can have what I do all the time. And Joyce and I did it yesterday. I had a virtual, my snack, my snack time. We Skyped, well, we were on Google Hangout, but either way, we did a video conference. I do that stuff all the time. I can't go to lunch with everyone. I can't have breakfast with everyone. The reality is I'm an entrepreneur. You don't work, you don't eat. You have to be really, 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 really mindful of what you pack in your day. And I teach balance, so I have to practice balance. As much as I might want to go to lunch or breakfast or brunch or something with someone at the movies or dinner or a club or event, not a club, but an event or whatever, it's not feasible for me to keep the balanced life that I work very, very, very hard at maintaining. And this is something I work at every single day. You don't master balance and all of a sudden because you're a balance expert or this is, you got it, you were coached by one, whatever, you just 100%. It's every day I'm rocking the same balance beam you are. I just built mine with certain habits and routines we talked about yesterday. And they're mine for my life and I help people build theirs for their life based on what their needs are. But regardless of that, you have to do what you have to do for you and work hard at it every day. It's a steady. Like my abs is tight because I'm, I'm rocking that balance beam all the time. But that means that I have to do unique things to connect with family, friends, people, pro friends, circle of influence, and to make sure that I'm constantly staying in touch with the people I say matter to me. If I call you a sister friend, it's important for me to make sure that I reach out to you. I expect you to reciprocate at some point in your life as well. I don't always want it to be one directional. I want it to be more of an omnidirectional situation that we're all thinking about, praying about, and participating with each other. Thoughts are awesome. Prayers are excellent. But participation is even better. If you are participating in something with me, with actually sending me a message, picking up the phone, calling me, meeting me, emailing me, whatever it is that makes sense for your time and space, that matters for me. That means that you are trying to reconnect on some level. All of a sudden, it doesn't have to necessarily do anything with business. That's awesome. You know, I have a business. You know, I have events. Send people. You can't make it. Send them. Listen, my cousin, my friend, my sister, my whoever is having something. I can't go, but she's awesome. Send them. That's another way to reconnect too. But I'm not even talking about that, that business hat. I'm talking about just as a person because we say all the time, we don't have, we don't know. Where should I go? You have people right next to you. It was divinely orchestrated that way. Just a matter of you using the people in your network. I'm noticing some of you are joining and rejoining, so there could be something funky going on with the connection this morning. This is Periscope Summit Week in New York. So there are tons of people on and scoping, even at this hour, which is non-traditional for them. So you may be having some funky glitches going on. I apologize on behalf of Periscope if that's happening. Just watch the replay if for some reason it, you know, it doesn't let you back in. The replay will definitely be there. And of course, we'll do what we always do and download and put it up on the Think Pro Media YouTube channel. The link is in my profile. We'll put it up. 
usually before 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can always go back and watch it there too. But I digress. Reconnect, people. Reach out. That first cousin, second cousin, that auntie, that uncle, that person. One of my cousins actually said she reached out to one of her uncles that she hasn't talked to in forever who was so instrumental in her like 15, 20 years ago when she was in college and she just lost touch with life and reached out and found out he lives around the corner from her. That's so awesome. Like how awesome is that? And this was someone who was instrumental and valuable in her life and they just, he traveled all the time for his job. She grew up and got married and had kids. It was just time and space, but now there's an opportunity. So take advantage of the opportunity that you have breath in your body. You're here, you're awake, you're alive, and you're still hopefully in your right mind enough to remember that person and figure out a way to reach out. Lost a number, you research when you want a new pocketbook, new bag, or you want to go on a trip. Go research. Call that grandma who has everybody's number, who has the number, who has the number. Do what you need to do if it's family. Get through to the person. Maybe you might make some additional connections along the way. Write a card. Send a note. Do something to reconnect because that will rework your network and you'll be surprised. You've been waiting for this profession, this professional change, this transition, help with something. If you're in business, a connection with someone, it may be someone in your network who's actually doing that very same thing. Our company works in the engagement and retention space. I ran into a cousin at the funeral and he was like, oh, I'm a director of retention at so I'm like, are you kidding me? We play in the same space. Who knew? Who knew? You just don't know if you're not connecting. So make sure you're doing that. Be mindful to not try to stir up pots that should have stayed dirty. Throw them away. We don't want those people. Those people are not supposed to come back in your life. Go, don't go stirring up nothing. But you know the good people. You feel it in your spirit when you think of them, when you look at pictures, when you reflect. You know who they are. You know who you had great coffee, tea, moments with conversations in passing, even if you never got an opportunity to connect with them in a strong way. There was that look that you gave each other when you walked past the water cooler in the hallway four professions ago. There was something. You never know. You could be bringing a blessing. You could be receiving a blessing by reconnecting. And it could just be in the fact that you share so much more in common than you realize. It has nothing to do with money. All that stuff comes. That's just law of attraction, which is a whole other different scope. So I want you guys to really rework your network by reconnecting. Think about at least two people today that you can reconnect with and think about how to reach out. Get the engine going. Make room in the universe. Make space. Send out an email. Pick up the phone. I know grandmom can talk for a long time, and she will tell you that same story 15 times, probably in three minutes. It's okay. That's just what we have to do. They're wise. They're awesome. They're a little long-winded. It's okay. They dealt with you on some level. And they're part of the reason that you're here. Right? Do you hear that? Northern Liberties. Five o'clock in the morning. It's because the Pope's coming. Every, every truck that you can imagine is running down my street right now. We're in the grid. We're locked in. It's ridiculous. So anyway, make sure you guys do that. All right? Reconnect. All right, enjoy the balance of your day. It's 5.14. I'm letting you go like one to two minutes early and I get to enjoy my super hot tea so I can warm up because it's really cold in here. My husband won't let me turn on the heat for some reason. He keeps mentioning that it's only September. Like that matters in my life. All right, I love you to life. Have an abundant, prosperous day. Reconnect with a loved one, a good one, someone today to make sure that you keep your network pure and tight with really good people. And remember, you're already connected to everyone you need to be connected to. Six degrees of separation, right? You're usually less than two degrees away if you pick up the phone and make a connection with someone who was already in your life. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you guys at 5 a.m. tomorrow for Wake and Breakthrough. Make sure, as I'm interviewing this morning starting at 8 a.m., so make sure you guys go over to Think Pro Media and watch the Balance Beam podcast. These industry experts are amazing and give so much to my life, to your life, to everyone's life, business and professionals. So make sure you watch that. And for your you entrepreneurs out there, we're going to be doing a 7 p.m. 10x focus balance and business school every Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And yes, we are going to attempt to do that tonight and Friday 
hoping that Periscope works with us because of the whole summit and everyone going scope crazy this week. They're all crowding the channels. I'm being a little selfish. I don't want to share, but it's okay. I'll see you guys tonight for the business folks, and I will see you at 5 a.m. for all of the early risers who are here and for our replay viewers who are watching after. Enjoy, 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 guys. Hey, you just joined when I'm leaving. Watch the replay, girl. All right. You know, you know this is the, the everyday rubbing my peppermint oil away so I can actually shut it off while y'all make fun of me. It's okay, I'm used to it now. Have a good one, guys.